Well, good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on September 6, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. We're going to start out here looking at our sun, as that sunspot region has been pretty active the last 24 hours. even releasing a small flare. M-class flare, but still, that's our most af active sunspot that we've had in the past few weeks. All we've had is coronal holes. Speaking of which, we do have an Earth-facing coronal hole. It's keeping our solar wind speed steady over 500 kilometers per second. Looking here, 475 kilometers per second. But it did jump up overnight again, 550. K indices. We are sitting at a level three. And then for earthquakes, let's look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Yes, this is the last 24 hours, believe it or not. Many earthquakes around the world yesterday and all at the same time. So after a bunch of fives struck around the planet, 4.0s stuck struck in the same regions. So look here, Carlsberg Ridge, 5.6. Africa with a 5.0. Congo region. Drake's Passage with a 5.1. Tip of South America. Chile with a 4.9, 4.6 in Peru, 4.3 Dominican Republic, 4.4 Mexico, 5.5 Mid-Atlantic Ridge, Northern Mid-Atlantic Ridge, as well with a 4.6 to follow. And then yesterday, early morning, large 5.9 earthquake struck Bend in Oregon. No tsunami warning with that earthquake, so that was the largest earthquake the last 24 hours. But we are looking at a worldwide earthquake event right now. Please stay aware, prepared, have a plan, be ready for anything these days. Let's just look at the last 48 hours for earthquakes. Because we did have a very deep earthquake in Tonga region on the 4th. And it was pretty much after this. 591 kilometer depth, 4.7, is when everything started to really shake up. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes, and you can see a lot of the white rings are the most recent earthquakes. So we are definitely going through a worldwide earthquake event right now. And we're gonna have to keep an eye on the deep earthquakes that happened throughout the day today to be able to forecast what is going to happen next because we still have, we were talking about the solar wind speeds. Let's have a look at the tropical storm coverages from around the world as we have six tropical storms right now, five named, one unnamed. Hurricane Dorian, category one storm, left a devastating path throughout the Bahamas and as well, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. Heavy winds and rain. Category 1 will be heading towards the Atlantic provinces. Also looking at Hurricane Juliet, who's out in the middle, or sorry, just off the coast of Mexico, heading out to Hawaii. And then we have a really strange tropical storm, Akoni. And that is below the equator, heading in the southern hemisphere. Then we have Invest Area 8. This is following the steps of Gabriel. So that will be heading into the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Then we have Typhoon Lingling, Ling, who right now is a Category 3 storm, or sorry, Category 2 Typhoon, slamming into the South China Sea and heading its way into North Korea. And then we have Faxi, now, Faxi is following the uh, Pacific and will be heading out into the middle of the Pacific Ocean. 
possibly grazing northern Japan. So yeah, we have definitely seen an increase in Earth speeds after our solar wind speeds were picked up to over 750 kilometers per second just before all these storms. Let's just have a look at NASA worldview, how it looks from above. We are looking at a lot of rain and a lot of storms. One, two, three in the Atlantic. One and two, three in the, like it's just as crazy. The last time we had this kind of event was two years ago when we had eight tropical storms across the planet. I want to thank everybody for watching. Let's get into the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Worth, Meteor Mike. Starting here, overlooking North America, watching Tropical Storm Dorian still as a category one storm. As I said, left a devastating path. But the next few days, it's going to quickly shoot into the Atlantic provinces, affecting Nova Scotia, PEI, and then Newfoundland and Quebec. So stay aware and prepared. This thing's heading towards the United Kingdom right after that. I've never seen a hurricane race to the North Pole the way Dorian did. I've never seen a hurricane act the way Dorian did. We are definitely in some pretty unique times. Watching over the United States, rain and large low developing. Midwestern United States, Western Alberta, watching things cool down and some rain on its way. Pacific Ocean, very active, um, very active. Tropical Storm Faxi, Typhoon Ling Ling. Now Faxi, I do believe, will be an even bigger storm than they project. They're projecting it to be a, to grow into a category three. I think it might be even a four. A lot of rain across our equator. Equatorial moisture is definitely picking up, especially over the Pacific. I've never seen rain models like this on this app, Meteo Earth. Stay aware and prepared. Very cool temperatures across southeastern Australia and some snow and heavy winds. Africa, not much to talk about there. Daily evaporation in the Congo. And it doesn't look like in the five day forecast any more storms forming off of the coast of Africa. We'll have to wait for more solar wind speeds to pick up across Europe, watching the lows come from the north, cool things down across the United Kingdom and Ireland, a lot of rain throughout Central Europe. South America, watching heavy snow throughout Chile, and some rain throughout Buenos Aires. Leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern hemisphere. I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Welcome to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, where I post my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world, keeping you aware and prepared. Don't forget to hit that like button. Invite some friends to come to Morning Dew. We are very close to 8,000 subscribers. It's an up and down battle right now, so please. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share this channel with your friends and family from around the world as we stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.